Hi, it's Lisa at giftedguru.com, and I want to share with you a quick tip and trick for making the most and broadening your choices of colors when you're working in Word, Excel, or PowerPoint. It's easy to do, but it's not necessarily intuitive. So I'm going to show you the easy way to do it in each of the three, and then I'm going to show you an advanced trick for those of you who want even more power and control. All right, so let's start with Word. You see I have this sample text here. If I highlight it and click from my drop-down menu for colors, this is the default um, selection of colors. They're called the theme colors. And that's because by default, Office has selected this theme, but you can change it. So let me show you, if you change the theme, you'll change all these colors available to you. Now this list of colors, the standard colors, this will always be the same. No matter what you do to the theme, the standard colors will stay the same. So this is how you do it in Word. In Word, you go to the design tab, and under colors here, just, just to the right of middle, you click that. It's a drop down and you can choose any of these color themes. So let's say I choose red velvet. I click that. You can see that this changed. I go home and then now when I click this drop down, do you see how these colors are different? And again, these stay the same, but these are different. Now, if you want to change it back, you would simply go back to design colors and then just pick office, but you could also choose any. So let's say, oh, I like this violet too. Now when I go home, these are the colors in my dropdown. This is just a quick and easy way to change the colors that are available to you when you're working in, with shapes and with text in, in Word. Now let's look at PowerPoint. Okay, same deal, have sample text, dropdown menu shows the same old colors. All right. It's a little bit different in PowerPoint. In PowerPoint, you go to the Design tab, and then in this section that's called Variants, there's a drop down here. This is kind of weird. A drop down there that's then underneath that, it says Colors, and you can choose again. It's all the same themes as there was, so you can have continuity among Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. So let's say I choose Blue 2. Now when I go back home in the drop down, these are the color choices I have. Again, standard colors will always be the same. Theme colors will be this, um, dependent upon what you chose. Now you can always click on more colors and choose any of these basics or even put in a custom color. And I'm going to talk about that more in just a moment. But when you change that theme, it makes the default colors different for you. And you can always change it back again. Go to design, variants, and then colors, and you can change it to anything that you want. If you're working with a lot of black and white, you may find it helpful to even just choose grayscale. If you do that, when you go back, you'll see that it's just a ton of different variants, tints and shades of um, gray, black, and white. All right, let's go to Excel. Now, in Excel, I've got the same thing. My drop down here are the standard colors of the normal default theme, and then the standard colors that are always available. To change it in Excel, is different than both Word and PowerPoint. You click on page layout, and then there's this drop down for colors. I actually think that it's the easiest of all in Excel. So I click that one, I go back home, and now this is the template available to me. I can do anything, any of the colors there that I like. Okay, so let's say, even though you're really happy now that you found that you can use more colors, let's say none of those are exactly what you want. Let me show you what you can do. This is um, the same in all three. Go to wherever it is that you choose the theme that you want and then click Customize Colors. When you click Customize Colors, it lets you create essentially your own theme. You're creating a new theme by putting in colors that you would like. So I could just call it um, Lisa's Lisa's theme. I don't know if it'll let me put an apostrophe, to be honest. And then I can choose any color I want to replace the black, any color to replace this, any color to replace this, dark one, light one, dark two, light two, and then all of these accent colors, what I want the hyperlinks to look like. I can put any color I want in there. So aside from just poking around, how do you choose colors? Well, let me show you what I do. I go to this website. It's called Flat UI. Flat UI, sorry, flatuicolors.com, flatuicolors.com. And here people have curated palettes that they like. And I just for some reason, a lot of these palettes are nice. You can find color palettes on lots of websites. I just really like 
this one. They have some daily design inspiration. I don't worry about that. I just like the palette. So let's say I'm feeling patriotically American today. I click on the American palette. It loads the palette and it shows me all the cool names for these colors that it has and it's put together and thinks that they go well. The default is hex, but Office uses RGB, not hex. So you click this drop down and click RGB. Now, let's say you want to replace the black with instead of just plain black, you're going to do Dracula Orchid, which you have to admit is pretty amazing. Copy that, and now it's copied that RGB value. In I always do this. I paste it in a Word document. So now I know my colors are 45, 52, and 54. So then I can go back here, and under this one, I click More Colors, and I click custom and now in here I put 45 52 54 and now I've replaced that color with that orchid color let me show you again how I would do that flat URI flat sorry I always want to say URI that's not that's so weird it's just flat UI do as I don't do as I say, do as I do. <laughs> All right, um, so let's say I want this Robin's Egg Blue. Again, I click Copy. Oh, but look what I didn't do. I didn't do the drop down to RGB. Make sure you change that or what you copy won't be what you need. I open up the Word doc, paste it in, and now I know my values are 0, 206, and 201. Now, if you can just hold those values in your head until you can paste it in, great. If not, you could just keep flipping back and forth um, from where you were to this Word document. So 0, 206, 201. So let's do this one. I'll choose this color. I click More Colors, and then it usually is defaulted to the Standard tab. I click Custom, and then I would put 0, 206, 201. And now I just keep repeating that for all the, using the colors in flat UI that I wanted, right? So I just keep going to flat UI colors and looking at the template I chose and choosing what colors from here that I want to substitute in here. And once I've substituted them all, then I just save it. If I don't like it, I can just click reset. And then from then on, in this, I could go in and choose my theme as one of the drop downs. So let's save this. And now, colors, I can choose Lisa's theme. Do you see right here? And you can make multiple custom menus and they will always show up at the top. Now, one of the reasons that it's good to put the RGB values here is that you, you could say here, black, right? You could say black, you could say, teal, whatever you're going to substitute. And then that way you could change it in both Word and PowerPoint so that your Word, PowerPoint, and Excel all had the same custom menus. If you have any questions, please feel free to post it in the comments below. And I hope that you found this helpful and useful.